So today's learning intention is to divide a line in a given ratio. But we're going to try it with a stepping out method rather than using the section formula. Our essential skills are working with fractions and ratio, 2D and 3D vectors, and finding the magnitude of a vector. So let's get started. So look at example one. Example one says that point P divides the line AB in the ratio 3 to 2. The question says find the coordinates of the point P. So let's look at the diagram then. It's always useful to draw a diagram to help visualise the problem. So I've got the point A as the coordinates minus 3, 1, 1. A line then joins to B and point B has coordinates 2, 1, negative 4. Now P has been put onto the diagram showing that if AP equals 3, PB equals 2. That's splitting AB in the ratio 3 to 2. Well, what can we work out from this? Well, the first thing we can work out then is that P divides AB in the ratio 3 to 2. Then we can work out what AB is, the vector AB. So if I'm at point A, what do I have to do to get to the point B? That gives me the vector 5, 0, negative 5. Again, look at the x component. I'm at 3. What do I do to get to the x component at b to get to 2? Negative 3 add on 5 would give me 2. If I'm at the coordinate point 1, what do I have to do to get up to b to get to a coordinate point 1? Well, I don't have to do anything. I add nothing. Looking at the x coordinates, sorry, z coordinates, if I'm at 1, what do I do to have to get to minus 4? Well, I have to take away 5. So that's how I've got the components of AB, 5, 0, minus 5. I'm stepping on from A to get to B. Well, let's look carefully then. If I'm at A and I'm stepping up to B, and AB is the vector 5, 0, negative 5, then that's the same as doing 5 steps along. So three steps to get to P, another two steps to get to B. So three plus two is five, it's five steps. Well, if five steps is five, zero, minus five, then one step, what does that equal? I just have to divide by five, and I get the vector one, zero, minus one. However, back to A, I'm starting at A, I want to get to P. That's not one step, that's three steps. So AP is the vector, it's equal to 3 steps, so that equals 3, 0, negative 3. But I want to know what the coordinates of P are. So P equals, starting at A, I have to add on the vector AP. So I'm starting at A, I've got the vector minus 3, 1, 1. I add on my three steps, my vector AP equals 3, 0, negative 3. So that gives me the vector 0, 1, minus 2. Now that's the position vector of the point P. However, the question says find the coordinates of the point P. So I have to finally convert my position vector 0, 1, negative 2 into coordinate form. So find the coordinates of P. The coordinates of P equal 0, 1, negative 2. Now, for every question, I do it exactly the same way, following the same steps. So let's try a second example. So example two. It says point P now divides the line AB in the ratio 2 to 1. Find the coordinates of the point P. So on the diagram, I've got the point A has coordinates negative 6, negative 6, negative 6. And the point B, which has coordinates 3, 0, negative 3. So step one, what did I do? I'm going to work out the vector AB. So AB equals 9, 6, 3. So AB has a vector with components 9, 6, 3. Again, look down at the coordinates. X coordinate of A is negative 6. What do I have to do to get to B to get to 3? Minus 6 add on 9 equals 3. But the y-coordinate of A is negative 6. What do I have to do to get to the y-coordinate of B, which is the point 0? Minus 6, add on 6 is 0. I'm at the z-coordinate of A, I'm at negative 6. 
What do I have to do to get to the Z coordinate of the point B? From minus 6 to minus 3, I'm going to have to add on 3. Negative 6 add on 3 is negative 3. So that's how I got the components of my vector AB. I'm stepping along, like jumping boxes, from point A to point B. Well, let's have a look again. So AB is the vector 9, 6, 3. And that's the same as saying three steps along the line. I've got two steps to get to P, another one step to get to B. So 2 plus 1 is 3. So the vector 9, 6, 3 equals three steps. Well, what does one step equal then? I just divide each component by 3, and that gives me the vector 3, 2, 1. But I want to find the length of AP. I want to get to P. So the vector AP equals two steps. So that equals the vector 6, 4, 2. Now, I don't want to find the vector AP. I want to find the coordinates of the point P. So point P equals, if I start at A, and I add on the vector AP. So A was the point minus 6, minus 6, minus 6. Add on the vector 6, 4, 2. And that gives me the position vector of P equals 0, minus 2, minus 4. But the question didn't ask me for the position vector. It asked me for the coordinates of the point P. So I just simply take my vector and write it in coordinate form. So the coordinates of P are 0, minus 2, minus 4. Right, now try this question on your own. The point Q divides the line joining the point P, minus 1, minus 1, 0, to the point R, 5, 2, minus 3. And it divides it in the ratio 2 to 1. Find the coordinates of Q. This is worth three marks, and this is an example of an old past paper question. Now, before you get started, why don't you make a sketch to help visualise the problem? I've got you started now. Okay, so draw your sketch, visualise the problem. Now, pause this video and take time to just try it on your own. I'll go through the worked example in a couple of seconds once you're finished. So put me on pause, attempt it on your own. Good luck. Right, hopefully this wasn't too hard. Let's go over it then. So you made a sketch to help visualise the problem. We've got point P, we've got point R. The first thing you have to do is work out the vector PR. So PR equals 6, 3, negative 3. Now from P to R, that's the same as going along three steps. 2 plus 1 equals three steps. So from that you can calculate what one step equals. So one step along the line equals 2, 1, minus 1. We're just dividing by 3, each component by 3. But to get from P to Q is two steps. So the vector PQ equals two steps, which equals 4, 2, negative 2. But I want to find out what the coordinates of Q are. So if I start at P, I add on the vector PQ. That's minus 1, minus 1, 0. It's a position vector at P. Add on the vector 4, 2, negative 2. And that gives me the position vector of Q equals 3, 1, negative 2. Again, the question did ask me for the component form of a vector. It wants it in the coordinates. So you have to write down the coordinates are 3, 1, minus 2. So well done. That's you've got three marks in the exam. So why don't you have a look over your answer? and self-assess. How did you get on? Did you get it all right? Are you green? Good to go? Maybe a few mistakes. Still have to go back over a few more examples. Or red if you're really struggling with this. And please see me as soon as you can. So you can put me in pause if you want to finish copying this down. Otherwise, I'm going to go ahead. So self-assess your progress. Red, amber or green. Now be honest with yourself. If you need help, you have to ask. Now for extra work, you could try page 251, exercise 13K, and just try questions 1 to 4. Okay, so what have we learned? Well, we've learned how to divide a line in a given ratio by stepping out. Step 1, 
calculate the vector of the given line AB. Step 2 was add together the ratio M plus N. And then you calculated the fraction of the line. And we did it in two steps. Find one step and then find M steps. That's the same as writing M divided by M plus N. You add on that vector to the point A where you started. And remember to express point P, the point you found, either in component form of an asset for in component form or as coordinates. You really must read the question very carefully. So take time to jot this down in your jotters. So we have to pause this video now and then we'll see you for the next lesson in class.